By the end of World War II, millions of people in Europe had been forced to flee from their homes and were living in camps for refugees and displaced persons. Relief agencies called on other nations to help to resettle these people. At the same time, Australia was suffering from shortages in the workforce. Its small population and isolation also increased its sense of vulnerability. To increase the number of workers available for Australia's defence and development, then Prime Minister Ben Chifley approved an urgent recruitment campaign in Europe to attract migrants. The Australian government also sent officers to select people from the camps to migrate to Australia, and the slogan Populate or Perish was born, used to help the Australian population to accept this large intake of migrants. The mission on which I am now embarking is vital to the nation. I am going abroad to seek ships for immigrants. If we have no ships, we shall get no immigrants. And without immigration, the future of the Australia we know will be both uneasy and brief. As a nation, we shall not survive. Give me the ships and I will guarantee to load them with the right type of our future Australia. This decision to increase Australia's population would mean an increase in its number of workers and families which meant a need for an increase in industry and residential development. Both these needs would have huge consequences for South Australia's development and its people in the years immediately following World War II, in particular for life on the Adelaide Plains. Consequences still felt to this day. <laughs>